খুবর কা বাতিসি টিভি লাবন রাশি অরেঞ্জ নিশান লুম সিয়ে ফাই ব্রিগেড শিল সরকার জেলা হাকা লাই তারিখ উপনায় নাইলোর আর হাজার আর ফুয়ই কালাশিম ইয়েকা রায় বান পানু ইয়েকা রায় নাকি পাঁচ নং সং সং হা কি সং খাপুট হা কে জিং পান খে বান পুন লং ইয়ে কাজিং ইপন বেদ ইয়া উপর উসাম হাপ্রেন কে জেলা মেঘালয়া বট কে জেলা আসাম হা কে জিং ইয়েন বট কি লাট পাথাই খুবর হাদিন বালা ওয়াই কে জিং এলং জং কি রিজনাল কমিটি বালা থাও রে সরকার বান লুম ইয়ে কি জিং টিপ কি বাবনিয়া ইয়ে কি জাকা খাপুট উমন্ত্রী রং বা উলো অং বাকি কে জিং এলং কলং বান আইলাট ইয়ে কি কমিটি বান আই টি ইয়ে কি কাইফট কি বাবনিয়া হালোর কি জিং লাভ বাট কি জিং সেম জং কি হা কে জিং লেট জিং ডাংসেন ইয়ে কি সং কি থাও কুকম জিংলং জিংমান হা কি নেকি জাকা বাট না লোর কি ওয়ে কি ওয়াই পান Uh, this is the first meeting after the committees were formed uh, so the deputy commissioners were asked to give a presentation on their findings and uh, more micro details about uh, the different villages uh, the different current status uh, of uh, different aspects that are there in those villages so each of the committees uh, where the member secretaries are the deputy commissioners uh, which is uh, riboy and uh, west kasi hills and jenty hills specifically as of now is jenty hills so the reports were given the chairmen of those committees were also present and uh, we got to see and uh, get much more details on this more exercise needs to be done because uh, there are many more other factors so basically today was really just a meeting to uh, take forward the entire process of uh, finding an amicable solution to the border differences that are there in uh, between uh, Assam and Meghalaya and uh, once uh, we have done our homework we will be having most probably another two to three sittings with these regional committees and these regional committees will of course have their own sittings also and uh, once i think after the session is over then there may be joint meetings and uh, and joint visits being done by those regional committees so as i said today was a very long meeting but it was uh, the crux of the meeting was basically to see the first report uh, that was prepared by the regional committees uh, second we had a long meeting also on the covid situation and uh, after of course seeing that the numbers uh, have uh, come down considerably compared to the last 2 to 3 weeks uh, we have of course opened up uh, a number of activities so we want more of such activities to be opened up and at the same time so that normal sick and return but at the same time we are also trying to streamline some of the uh, small uh, areas where uh, uh, some confusions were there in, t- in regards to the protocols that have been issued by the uh, health department or by the political or by the dc uh, so those matters were discussed so those are micro details i think the uh deputy commissioner and uh, chief secretary's office when the notifications comes out uh, those details will be available there so those were the two main areas of discussion today basically uh, the report of the facts that are there uh, it's too much in uh, micro detail it goes into the uh, different kind of communities that are settled the number of villages that are there uh, you know the administrative uh, convenience that is there in these villages whether it's um, uh, you know the uh, they are in the meghalaya census or in assam census Uh, whether they're taking power from our side or from uh, Assam side, so it's more of a, a detail on uh, the facts and uh, what the current status of those villages are. Uh, so really, we went into those uh, details, and of course, our officials have made visits to these villages also, and so we got uh, some kind of first-hand feedback also as to the mindset of these villages. But as I said, there's there are large numbers, so it will not be possible for me to go into details. But my point being that. Uh, Uh, we are very serious about this and that's the reason why uh, we had this meeting today and we hopeful that we'll be able to take this forward and actually find a so an amicable last... solution so basically the information that has come to us is that the uh, the notifi- the committees are ready and uh, should be notified in the next 24 hours to 48 hours so it is um, our, our notifications have already come out now we expect that maybe in the next uh, day or two we expect that uh, some notification will also come out as far as my knowledge goes uh, uh all the uh, actual uh, homework has been completed and uh, the notifications are ready just waiting for the final approval uh, which again as i said uh, i will not be able to comment on the assam side but the information to me is that uh, in the next one or two days it will be notified you see uh, which i uh, we've been uh, mentioning from day one uh, is that um, this entire exercise that we're doing uh, will require us to really shift from 
our uh, old uh, stands and the old way of uh, really looking at this problem. This uh, entire process will require us to uh, look at it from a different perspective and uh, find, uh, I should say, out-of-the-box solutions to these problems. So therefore, we have decided that we need to, of course, look at the historical facts. But then we also need to see the current situation uh, in which the people are staying. We need to see the kind of community and the ethnicity that is there. We need to see the administrative convenience uh, and the linkages that are present out there. Uh, we need to see the, what is the mood of the people in those areas, how the economic activities have been going on. So it's really uh, trying to see the holistic picture from the history point of view as well as the current status uh, point of view and trying to see if there are uh, areas uh, where we may be able to agree without really having differences and decide that, uh, well, uh, you know, it is making a lot of sense and, um, uh, and trying to see uh, the, the common grounds that are there. And we strongly feel that there are such common grounds. We strongly feel that there are a lot of areas uh, that uh, we say are dispute, but actually when you go down to the micro details, we realize that actually there is no dispute in a large number of those areas. So we are hopeful that if not many, 20-30% of these villages where uh, we have been seeing are under dispute. Uh, we may find that actually there is no dispute in those. So that's the kind of area we try to look at. And then obviously there will be certain areas which have complications. We need to do more homework in that. And obviously there will be some areas which are very, very complicated, uh, which will require a bit more discussion. So we don't want to club the entire thing into one uh, problem, but rather break it down to smaller problems and find a solution to it. There are many factors. So we'll have to look at all those factors into the consideration and then only take a call. So referendum is maybe just one part of the whole thing. Referendum is a very simple word of seeing what the people's will is. But uh, as I said, that is one part of the factor that we'll look at. We'll look at ethnicity, we'll look at administrative convenience, uh, you know, we'll look at the historical facts. So we'll look at all of this and try to balance things out and take things forward.